Hey there guys, how's it going? Thank you for tuning to my channel here. Today I'm going to go over a little bit about this breathing stand that I made here and uh, you know how how to put it together, how to take it apart, how does it work and so forth, how does it function, pretty much the whole idea. Anyways, this is a large side breathing stand that I have here, you know, in front of you. And uh, this breathing stand, the idea is to design it for owners that are doing breeding with the dogs to where they have like some kind of difficulty of having the dog mount, okay? So, this breeding stand is designed to strap the female here comfortably, you know, and easy. You know, I don't want to make my breeding stand too big or too fancy. So, I, I designed it very simple. I make it adjustable to where it will support the female nicely, you know, and uh, a little few safety future also right here some features that i have here is that i move this this leg support right here from so this is pretty much the back for the female's waist support but most of the breeding stand the leg support is always in the back here so what happens when the males start to shift from side to side they tend to step on it break their toenail cut their foot whatever it is so i move it forward so if you look at this you could already predict that the females, the waist is going to be here, so the, the back is going to be over here, so the male is going to be pretty much almost out of the video, I guess, or if I do get out of the video. But anyways, try to keep the show or, you know, the, the, the breeding process away from all these metal components. So anyways, this is the large size breeding stand. This breeding stand is made to fit husky, you know, lab and... Rottweiler and dog around that that kind of category. Okay, so it's a large size not the extra large size I know there are some big huge extra large dog, but that will probably be you probably have to special order you probably have to uh, contact me and uh, Do some measurement and give it to me and I'll make one for you. Okay, so anyways back to the game um, So of course, this is the waist support. I designed it to where it could go up and down based on the waist of your female high or low and this is for the neck support okay so to, to kind of hold the neck compared to the waist so that's the support of course when it's in breeding you want to make sure you give your dog the right support you don't want to uh, stress her at a position that she's not comfortable at the same time this right here it slides forward and backward why because of course, most of you that already know it, you already know why we have to make it to where you slide. But the one that you haven't know it uh, or know about the breeding stand, it's, it's made to fit the body length of a female. Some female can have a short body, some female has a longer body. Okay, so like I said again, this is the large side breeding stand. Uh, this breeding stand, I this is pretty much, you know, if, if you haven't adjusted the center part here, then this is pretty much the full length for a certain large size of dog. But let's say if your female is a little bit longer, well, that's why I designed this. So you can actually open it up, okay? You can open it up, and then you can tighten it up to make it, uh, you know, fit the length of your dog. You know, it depends on how long your dog is. And everything that I have, all these bolts here, they're all 716, okay? Ranch, okay? That's the size, 716. So, the reason I designed the way it is because I want to make sure that there's not too many parts that are gonna be around that's gonna you know catch a dog's toenail or you know get him injured. So that's why I just decided to keep it nice and flat as possible. Okay, but if you don't have the 716, you can also use like an adjustable wrench that you can make it bigger or smaller, or you can also use a plier. A basic plier because the whole idea of this breathing stand you don't want it over tighten the ball because if you do of course it could possibly lead into damaging your breathing stand you all you need to do is just a little snug it will do the job and you know that's it's been working for me with no problem okay so again if you have a longer dog body length you can also make it long you know and, and then let's say if they're tall you can make it tall and it will fit a certain size. Of course, I already have an instruction if you see this post on eBay, you know, how to measure your dog to make sure your dog is, is within the the spec, you know. Make sure that your dog is within the spec so it will work. If your dog is too big, 
that you probably had to special order. Give me some information on you know dogs, your dog's height and length. Or if your dog is smaller than this, then you will probably much you know better off going with the medium sized breeding stand. Okay. So anyways, um, now I talk about adjustable and everything already. I want to show you guys when we when I break it down. You know when I break the breeding stand down to pieces. This is how it's going to be like. Okay. You see this is back support. This is going to be a front neck support, and then. You take this thing down. Of course, I haven't snug it because it's, I want to show you, but you, know, you can take that down. This one right here. You can take this piece down, you know, and then uh, loosen this one, loosen that one. Take out the bolt. These are the only two longest bolts. If you look at it, it's about one and a half inch or one, one three quarter inches long. These two are here. Okay. Got that, put this here, take it down here, loose it, this is the center pipe, this piece right here, and that's it. That's how simple it is. Okay? So if you look at the brain, it comes in pieces like this. Now, I can't say you can't, but it's almost impossible to find a brain stand out there that, you know, uh, I would say that people will sell a ship because the cost of shipping a breeding stand it's it's not cheap especially if a breeding stand that you cannot break it down then you have to put it in a big this big box that's why people don't have breeding stand to ship out but anyways my goal is that I want to make sure that I can help every breeder out there with the breeding stand that's why I come up with this idea of I could break it down I could ship it I could help you at the same time you help me so anyways if you have any questions, please leave on the comments below. If there's something that I miss here, I will also put on the comments below. And thank you, and I'll see you again on the next video.